Pisces. This reading is for Pisces singles to see who is coming towards you guys for November 9th through the 16th. This is for Pisces singles, people who are not looking for anyone, okay? In particular. The thing is, you're open though. Like you're not discounting love and meeting somebody else. You're just open to it. You're not looking for it necessarily, but if it comes, hey, I'll take a look at it. All right, for Pisces singles, what options do they have in love for November 9th through the 16th? When I was shuffling before I actually started recording, the page of wands flipped up in like in my hand and the will of fortune, but the page of wands had um, had its back turned to the will of fortune. So some of you guys are still focused on the past, I feel like, and not wanting to move forward. Like it's something else that you're looking at that you just came from or that you're you know, still dealing with energetically. And that's just for some of you, I feel like. Okay, let's see what's going on with Pisces. Singles. Huh. Something you want to figure out. Something you want to reveal to someone possibly that you may not have in the past and you feel like it'll change something here. Okay, so one more shuffle. We're gonna go ahead, guys, and see what's what's going on. Okay. Five of Pentacles. Feeling left out in the cold with the seven of pentacles. Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo. Somebody that's trying to get their um, get their life together after feeling neglected, abandoned. Um, here, let's see. Somebody who's very intuitive. This person could also be very, very secretive at the same time. Okay, could be another Pisces like yourself. Somebody that's not willing to see the truth of the matter, I feel like. They're feeling left out in the cold, but the truth is something different. Like it's just an illusion and they're not really seeing, um, seeing things for like what they really are. We have the King of Cups here. King of Cups is very balanced. Um, in this case, I feel like this person is looking away, looking away from the connection, looking away from um, like they're not paying attention to what their their intuition is telling them. And I feel like this King of Cups here is, is not really paying attention to how they feel. Not really. Like they, not, not how they feel, but like almost too involved emotionally and not really using their head I, I i'll say that they are not they're most more focused on like what they're feeling right now instead of what they're not they don't have an equal balance of being able to use their emotions um in the right way and being able to use their head to make logical reasonable decisions here because you can't think fully with your heart. You can't make moves like that. And I feel like that's what this person is doing. But they're trying to figure it out here. They're trying to figure it out. All they see is like one side of being like left out in the cold. Um, four cups. Not seeing things clearly. Feeling very, nah, 
Eh. You know. Just not seeing things clearly. Scorpio here, Taurus here, Capricorn. Somebody here is just really needing to take a second look at something. Not seeing things clearly. Not being sure of themselves. Like they, they want something steadfast and concrete. But sometimes you don't have to see things in a concrete manner for you to know what is true, what is right. That's where the intuition comes in at. Just knowing without having to see stuff laid out in front of you. And they're not paying attention to what their, their intuition is telling them. They just want to walk away, that take the easy way out. And that's what they did. Take the easy way out and, and not compromise and not see things like from a different perspective, not, you know, not see what they actually may have contributed to the downfall. This is someone from your past. This is somebody that you know, if, if I didn't make that clear already. This is somebody that you've been involved with, okay? But they're not like thinking of compromise in this situation. All they're thinking about, they're one-sided. They're one-sided here. So what I'm gonna do for you guys is I am going to see what it is that they're not seeing, okay? So we're gonna take this four cups, and you're the last sign that I'm doing, and we are going to see why this four cups is here, okay? See what this person is not seeing. Why is the four cups here? What are they not seeing? What is this person not that wanted to flip over, but it didn't. So, why is the four cups here? Lord God, please show me. Mm. Another cup, another card of illusion. The seven of cups here. They're confused. They're confused. Either they think that you have options that you're doing something. Maybe that involves other people. Why is the seven of cups? Why is the four of cups here? Oh, okay, that got stuck, so we're gonna take that. Yeah. This person is very, very confused. Very confused. One more card. Four cups. Why well, is the four cups here? One more card. Four cups. Oh, okay. Nine of Wands. This person is has been through something. And I'm not sure if it has anything to do with you, but it feels like this person has been abused. It just feels that way, whether it's mentally or physically or both. I feel like this person has been abused. Um, they are so confused as to what is really going on in this situation and not seeing things clearly. With the Seven of Cups, we have a, first we have the Four of Cups clarified by the Seven of Cups and the High Priestess. Like things are not clear to this person and they're very defensive. They've been through something and very, very defensive. They are trying to push through. They really are, but they, they feel defeated. They really feel defeated, okay? All right, Pisces, so that's what I have for you guys in love.
my single Pisces for November 9th through the 16th. And I'll be speaking with you.